I'm a killer, I'm a kill it, I'm a kill it no, no, Night after day, after night, night, night I work, hustle, kill, kill, and I fight Boy, Might as well give me the throne that you inherit And while you're at it, give me the badge, cause I'm the sheriff Everybody back up, I want that Working really hard in the gym, but see no results. I bet you that's why you're here, right? Yeah. I got the solution to your problem. Just listen closely to what I'm going to say. There are different types of problems that can stop you from getting the results you want. It's hard to find out the problem because as a starter, right, as a person or a beginner who, who just started working out, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put myself in your spot. We don't know what the problems are because we're not used to working out. We don't know the types of variations and, and objectives and all this mumbo jumbo working out thing, right? So this is the thing. You have to find out what the problem is. That's one, right? So I'm going to give you the types of problems that normally happen to everyone, the, the most important ones, right? And try to fit yourself in one of those categories. When you do, you fix the problem and you can thank me later, right? I'm going to start from the most frequent one and count down. Now, number one, you do not add enough stress. What does that mean? When you don't add enough stress, that means you don't add more plates to your, let's say, barbell curl, to your uh, bench press, to your squats, you know, to your deadlifts. You don't add enough plates. That means you're doing very, you're, you, those plates are very light, you know. So if you want muscle gains, right, if you want hypertrophy, you're going to have to put stress on the body, right? Stress that it's very heavy so that your muscles could say, okay, this is very heavy. I can't lift this. So that means I have to build muscle. So later, when it happens again, I can lift that. And that's how you get a bigger body by adding on and on and on every week. Simple. Every week you add on. If you're not adding on, you're not lifting heavy. If you're not adding on, you're you're basically lifting the same amount over and over and over and over and over again. Like your body's not it's already used to that. I don't need that. Like that's just a waste of time. If you don't want to build muscle, you can do that. You want to build some endurance? Go ahead. Keep on lifting the same thing over and over again. You're not gonna build muscle like that. You're gonna have to lift heavier. It's a weight that you haven't lifted before. And when you do lift that weight, watch what happens. You build muscle, right? You see results. Your body changes. That's the top, right? People like the comfort zone. Stop being comfortable and freaking plates. Simple. That's number one. Now, number two, I think this happened to me in the beginning. Right. We as humans, we when we try to do excessive amount of things that we're not accustomed to, we like to see results like that. Right? We want, we want to see them quickly. That's a problem we all have. We don't we can't it's like we can't wait. That's a problem that you have to fix. When you lift weights, right, or you're doing cardio or anything like that, if you want to lose weight or gain weight, gain muscle. You know, it takes time. So you have to be patient. If I lift heavy weights today, that doesn't mean I'm going to build muscle tomorrow. It takes time. It's not going to be a matter of days. It might be weeks or months that you will see results. I know it sucks because you're putting so much effort into it. But in the long run, your body will be looking amazing. If you wait, be patient. Every movement you do, Counts. Don't worry that you're not seeing results. You will in time. It takes time and patience for you to see results. Just be patient, man. 
Sooner or later, time will tell. You will look amazing. Just keep on lifting heavy. Keep on doing your cardio. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that you're talking too much and you're not lifting weights. Problem number three. You're either talking to someone for a very long period of time. So that means your resting is too long. Rest less. 30 seconds to a minute max. Unless you're doing maximal strength, which you should rest around a minute to three minutes. Your resting times should be 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Top. Want to lose some weight? Stick to 30 seconds. So you can keep your heart rate going and burning more calories throughout the workout. Simple, man. You will see better results when you do that, right? If you're resting for too long, you're not, you know, you're, you're giving your muscles too much time to rest, which is not needed. So you're wasting a lot of time in the gym just sitting around or walking or talking to people, which you shouldn't be doing that. You should just be focusing on your workout. Bang your workout out, and boom, and get the hell out. Go drink your protein, go, go drink your carbs. Simple. You will see results when you stop resting for so damn long and do your workout right. Do your workout quick, effective, and get out. Simple like that. That's my motto. Quick, effective, and get out. That's how you got to do it, man. I bust them heavy weights. I rest for minimal time. And I get out. I don't talk to anybody, man. You don't have to talk. To, I mean, of course, if I'm a, as a personal trainer, I have to. But when I'm focused on what I got to do for myself, for my own benefit, yo, you will not. Yo, I'm like, leave me alone. Put my headphones on. Boom. Bang out the reps. I see people staring at me. I just laugh because these dudes are resting for like 10 minutes just staring at me. And I'm over here like, pop, pop, banging shit out, you know. I'm getting the benefit. They not. When it comes to not seeing changes, it's because your resting time is too long. Tip number four. This problem arises with everyone. Nutrition. I feel like people think of nutrition like a crossword puzzle or a Rubik's Cube. Like They're like, oh my God, how many calories I have to take? Oh, how many grams of carbs and how many proteins and fats and blah, blah, blah. They get so confused and tangled up in their own situation that they don't know what the hell they're doing. So, I'm not going to explain the whole caloric daily intake. I'm just going to focus myself on the most important aspect of nutrition when it comes to exercise. Right? There are two most important meals that you should be taking and they are one before a workout and the other after a workout. If I was you, that's what I do, I would say carbs before a workout. Probably have a protein, but I have I probably have protein too. Right? But mainly carbs because I know that during my workout I will be I will be putting a lot of stress and energy expenditure on my body. So I'm going to need a lot of energy to produce the amount of force and the amount of stress I will be excreting, right? Now, that meal is very important. Carbs are important essentials when it comes to before a workout. Now, after a workout, I can't stress this more than anything. After a workout, get your protein and get your carbs. Why? You need protein because you just ripped your muscle fibers. Hey, you just ripped them. They are screaming. So what does protein do? It repairs them. So you need your protein in between right after a workout to 60 and 90 minutes. You need to have your protein in that window. Now, why do you need carbs, right? Because it's the main energy source, right? So what's going to transfer those proteins, right? Those amino acids into your muscles? The carbohydrates will. Carbohydrates are the 
look at it this way. Carbohydrates are the car and you're the protein, right? You have to get to your destination. So what does the car do? The car gets you there. And that's what carbohydrates do. They transport your protein to the muscle. And that's how you build maximal gains. Easy, right? I'm making it easy for you to understand, right? You have to have your protein and you have to have your carbs after your workout. What kind of carbs after a workout? Have a Gatorade. Protein, it depends. If I was you, I have a protein powder right after a workout, right? I'll have probably 20 and up grams of, of protein, right? Try not to stick less than that because you're optimizing your muscle recovery. So you don't, you know, you don't want to have restricted proteins, right? You have to have an, an, an essential amount. So have your protein powder of 20 grams and up and have your carbohydrates, you know, your Gatorade is fine, you know, and if you do this, you will see results. Problem won't be a problem anymore. Do things right. I gave you four main things that you're probably doing wrong. If you do them right, you follow my steps, I guarantee you, if those were your problems, that you will see results. Gustavo Morello, certified personal trainer from National Academy of Sports Medicine. I uh, thank you so much for listening. I uh, hope this helped. It's a lot of information I just gave you that's very important. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. If you have any questions, please contact me at gustavo.m at usa.com. And please add me on Instagram at Real Gus Morello. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you guys next time.